The first part of this question is just a recall question and there aren't many of them in A-level physics. So make sure you get your definitions right. Then you're going to have to find a mass deficit and convert it into energy with Einstein's famous E equals mc squared equation. That's why there's so much energy released in nuclear reactions. Okay, this is quite an important one for you to be able to do, really, um, working with mass deficit and understanding what binding energy is. So what is meant by binding energy? All, all of this is about this equation, famous physics equation, E equals mc squared. And I'll do it the way they've written down on the paper because it helps you remember that we're talking about a mass deficit to release energy. What's meant by binding energy? Well, binding energy is that energy which is holding together the particles in the nucleus. So what are the particles in the nucleus? They are the neutrons and protons. And you did need to state that binding energy was about the nucleus, the, the nucleons. Okay, the energy holding together or binding together the nucleons in a nucleus. Um, and actually, once more, we can define a binding energy, this value here, using the equation. So delta E is proportional to delta M. Okay, so it is the energy which is the energy equivalent to the mass deficit. And they really wanted you to say that in this question here. So if you're asked to define something, what is meant by something, explain what the algebra tells you. Okay, I think that's a pretty key kind of skill. So the binding energy is the energy equivalent to the mass deficit. Okay, most times if you give this and you define the terms, you're going to be okay with that. Okay, fission reaction. Okay, and this is using that equation now. Uh, really, we're going to say most of the times we're going to be talking about energy being given out. Okay, um, you're just looking at the left hand side of the equation and then the right hand side of the equation and working out the energy difference. So, you're given this data, don't forget that you've got three times of a neutron there. I suggest you sum those in U first, which is the um, relative atomic mass unit. Okay, the unified atomic mass unit. Um, I might just write it all out to show you what I'm going to type into the calculator. So the uranium, 235.0439, and you need all the sig figs when you're doing this one, plus a neutron, 1.008665. Okay, what's the difference between the left-hand side and the right-hand side? Well, I just need to take one away from the other. So barium 140.9144 um, plus a krypton 91.9262 plus three lots of a neutron, which is three times 1.008665. I suggest you obviously write all that out because it just tells the examiner what you're doing. There might be some credit for that. All right, I'll just add them up. Okay, so my mass deficit in U is 0 0.18597. Okay, that's fine. That's actually got me a mark. Okay, so now I need to convert that into kilograms. Okay, and in your data sheet, you've got the value of 1U here. So I just do this times 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27. 3.087102 times 10 to the minus 28 kilograms. And now it's a simple conversion because delta E equals C squared delta M. C squared is 3.00 times 10 to the 8. So I just remember C squared is 9 times 10 to the 16. And what by that by that? gives me 2.778 or 
times 10 to the minus 11 joules. So this, the other marks are conversion to kilograms and then use of the equation. Practicing exam questions is brilliant and I suggest you do as much of it as possible, but don't just do it. One thing you need to do is you need to find a syllabus and learn a definition for every single word that's in italics, because they're the ones they're likely to ask you to define in an exam. Also, you need to know exactly which skills you're going to be assessed on, and the best place to look for that is the syllabus.